Just check this video out by Dr. Ben Tepper, and I feel like he has some excellent points as to the health of the human being under coronavirus. Just want y'all to give a quick listen on his logic. Let's listen. What if we change the conversation, move the conversation away from the strength of the virus towards the strength of the body? You see, I know full well that your body's ability to overcome disease like coronavirus is far greater than anyone, including our government, the CDC, and these administrative doctors had led you to believe. Now, already important, move the conversation from the strength to the virus because they got y'all thinking the coronavirus is the big bad wolf to move in the conversation to the strength of your own immunity. If you have the knowledge, knowledge is power. If you have the knowledge of your own health and a boosted immunity, then you also will have the power to act on it and the ability to prevent danger from COVID with knowing the knowledge of your own body. But let them continue. In fact, Merck, a pharmaceutical company and vaccine producer, was working on a COVID vaccine, but they stopped. The reason being, they said it was far more effective to get the virus naturally and recover than to get the shot. In fact, they stated the vaccinated group had inferior immunity to the unvaccinated. Now, one of his vaccination groups or one of the vaccination companies stopped vaccinating, according to him, because they alleged that uh, antibodies from developing the sickness natural are stronger than vaccinations. So they stopped producing vaccinations and they also claim that the vaccinated uh, demographic in which they've studied and I'm not aware of, I don't know the demographic was more at risk than the unvaccinated demographic. But those are his studies. And the hospitals in town, I saw him post something on social media, and I've also seen many claims, but they said there's nothing you can do naturally to fight this disease. And I find that very insulting. I believe that is the worst thing you can tell a patient because it steals. Nothing you can do naturally to, to prevent a disease when vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, Anti-inflammatories are all found in nature. Antioxidants being key. You won't find a vegetable, a fruit, a nut that is without antioxidants. Antioxidants literally prevent free radicals from fucking up your immune system, causing cancer and other ailments, other forms of disease. So to say, so to say that natural ailments can't help you is a disrespect not only to your logic, but to human Nature and life in period. Life in general. All hope. And right now these administrative doctors or organizations in the government is they're not using this opportunity to educate the people. It means to be healthy. Instead they're telling us there's nothing we can do. So just sit back in your recliner, watch your television, eat your Doritos, drink your sodas. Avoid the gym and stay far away from your neighbor and wear multiple masks. Everything they're telling you to do sounds counterintuitive to existing as a natural being. Stay away from connection and people. Don't eat healthy or even not even suggesting people to eat healthy. But the fact that you're denouncing health as a viable measure to ensure your own safety is subconsciously telling people that their diet doesn't matter. And they do this all the time. When you see people promote health videos, what to eat, you, they're almost compelled to say this does not heal you because our pharmaceutical and our medical industry doesn't make bucks off natural homeopathic remedies. So they'll tell you that it don't heal you just for the sake of buying they bullshit. But best believe the ancient, if you ancient Hippocrates back in the Greece, ancient Roman times or ancient Egypt or Eastern medicine, only Western philosophy feels that natural remedies don't work. And just wait till this savior of a vaccine comes. Well, most people I know don't want anything to do with the vaccine. And Pfizer, one of the vaccine companies pushing this vaccine out, has a track record. And I'm going to read the short list to save time because I only have three minutes. Pfizer received the biggest fine in U.S. history as part of a $2.3 billion plea for mispromoting medicines and paying back to compliant doctors. 
Pfizer paid more than $60 million to settle a lawsuit over a diabetes medication that caused patients to die from acute liver failure. They paid $430 million in 2004 to settle criminal charges for bribing doctors. In 2011, they committed racketeering fraud and agreed to pay $142 million in the settlement. They were caught using Nigerian children as human guinea pigs without the parents' consent, violating... Pfizer caught using human children as guinea pigs. Pfizer, vaccination company. Nigeria, Africa. What do we talk about eugenics? What do we talk about depopulation? What do we talk about social control? The Nuremberg Code. Now, vaccines, the vaccine courts have paid over $4 billion in injuries since 86, and only 1% of vaccine injuries are reported. Not only that, I have... $4 billion in vaccine injuries, and only 1.6% are reported. That logically shows you that vaccines have shown consistently the ability to harm you or give you adverse effects. Logically, this isn't Damien speaking. This is logically. A dossier, a dossier put together by some of the best attorneys in the nation and physicians. This is a dossier that I'm going to submit to the council calling for the arrest of Dr. Fauci. Yeah. On page four, it talks about the violations. It is well documented, well reported, and well researched. Some of the re uh, violations, and I'm, I'm again I'm going to read the short list. Um, marketing manipulation, conspiring to criminal commercial activity, lying to Congress, acts of domestic terrorism resulting in the death of American citizens, and funding and conspiring to commit acts of terror. I encourage you to read through this. This was sent to me from some of the best physicians that I and attorneys that I know. It's a grassroots movement because Dr. Fauci and these elitists under this media, they all work together to try to um, submerge this information or bury it under the ground. But the truth of the matter is you guys have nefarious motherfuckers running this country. And a lot of you appeal to them for information. Some of you guys are waiting for Dr. Fauci to tell you what to do. Newsflash. Our health is not the number one priority of these drug commercials, <laughs> our drug companies. Their main priority is to sell more drugs and vaccines. In other words, they don't care about our health, they care about our stockholders. Dermophobia used to be a mental health disorder, but now it's considered a virtue. We're told that a droplet causes the spread of this disease, and the germ theory doesn't tell the full story. Blaming this disease on a droplet or germ is like blaming the flies for the trash. We must get back to being human again. Mm. Loving thy neighbor, not fearing him. My shirt says the immune system is not a conspiracy. Gonna need you to wrap up. It's time to lift the regulations. Gonna need you to wrap up. The immune system is not a conspiracy. The evidence supporting your immune system being able to prevent shit like COVID supersedes by far the evidence of vaccinations being able to boost your immunity. The evidence of healthy foods boosting your immunity to protect your own immune system supersedes the evidence of vaccinations boosting your immunity. This is logic. This is not Damien talking. The lazy folk. Now, this is Damien talking. The lazy folk want to be saved. The ones who don't want to put in the effort to work out, change their diet, and do the things necessary to better themselves, those are the ones running to the vaccinations. The ones who follow the bandwagon effect, listen to media subconsciously, socially engineered by these devils. Those are the ones running around in fear, grabbing toilet tissue and waiting for vaccinations. The ones who are principled in logic are gaining an understanding of how to deal with themselves so they can deal with whatever's outside work out exercise know what you're deficient in it's your boy dame dr ben tapper let me know your thoughts in your comments the boy kicking that flavor peace